Good morning, welcome back. 12 minutes now in front of nine, October 6th, Saturday morning. We are in the middle of a three-day Columbus Day weekend. Get on out, enjoy the leaves, and don't forget to come on down to North Conway Village and uh, do some strolling and some shopping and find your way to Spruce Hurricane and yes. where you will find Amber Dalton. Good morning. Good morning. And all, again, always bringing up fashion in the Thank valley. You. Another notch. Thank you very much. I'm <laughs> glad you've taken on the task because there's only so much plaid the valley can, can handle. <laughs> plaid so, is very in. <laughs> oh, in that no case. No worry. I brought a plaid shirt with there, me today. You're right on, Marty. See, sometimes, sometimes <laughs> it just works out. So why, why don't we get into to fall fashion now yeah and, uh, so what is uh, what is hot and what is not and that sort of thing well that's always a tough question mm -hmm. for me because I have such diverse taste and you'll see that in Spruce Hurricane mm -hmm. we try to be very eclectic with our merchandise mix mm -hmm. but um, right now is prime time at Spruce Hurricane for fall fashion we're mm -hmm. loaded with beautiful sweaters everything from you know very classic and traditional to some things that are a little more fun and funky mm -hmm. um, I October being Breast Cancer Awareness Month, mm -hmm. decided that I would go on a pink theme today. So yes. I brought some pretty in pink pieces to mm -hmm. show you because I knew that would connect with you, Marty. Well, well thank you very much. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Because there, there, there are times, and, and this was, you know, back back when I was in college, you know, pretty in pink. But, yes, you know, right. Work. Anyway, right. <laughs> I don't know what that means, yeah. but anyway. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> so, so what, what, what do we have? Okay, so. This is a company called Odd Mar Molly. They're out of Sweden. They actually do a ski wear line mm -hmm. as well as a fashion line. Really cool stuff. And I just love the detail that they put in their products. Mm -hmm. This is a beautiful little cotton, pink, pale pink sweater. And you can see that the knit just has a lot of variation, a lot of detail. Um, it's very sweet, but at the same time, it can be worn in a very cool, fashion forward way with your ripped up jeans mm -hmm. and your cowboy boots. <laughs> There's a pretty uh, detail on the collar. If I hold it up higher, you can see on the bottom, it's got that little ruffle detail, pretty sleeve treatment. And these are things that are um, big statements in fashion this mm -hmm. fall in lots of lines is ruffle detail, some more feminine features are coming back in mm -hmm. in fashion so and is that also comfortable to, to wear as well I mean oh yeah it's yeah. so soft I mm -hmm. mean you can feel well, it yes the it knit is, is very yes fine is. and it's great layered or just by itself mm -hmm. then here is our plaid and you can see with the lovely accoutrements uh, yes. around you see yes yeah. so it almost has a little bit of a Victorian uh, there you go. look yes. to it yeah so it's dressed up plaid mm -hmm. <laughs> one 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 step at a time okay. that's right <laughs> one, one <laughs> and again you can see the sleeves are becoming a little mm -hmm. more flared and and full and ruffled uh, ruffled or puckering detail a sure. lot of sleeve detail in fall fashion this year it's sort of interesting how you all and now at the bottom as well always uh, sort of taking different styles and, and building upon them you see shirts and of course uh, right. you know standard you know denim I mean how many times can you reinvent right. denim and right. it's just kind of interesting that and uh, we all wear you know denim used to be just your weekend thing mm -hmm. now denim is all the time every sure. day dressed up with high heels or worn casual with your mm -hmm. your Merrells you know so yeah. everybody is putting everything with denim and then last but not least, we love this fun, funky jacket. It's really fuzzy and cuddly, and you've got the mix of textures, and just a really, really neat piece. A little bit of that shirling look well, going Well, I was going to say, it, it yep. looks a little bit like a sheepskin, yep. you know, sort of. Uh, exactly. Yeah. So that's a really great piece. And of course, we always have fun accessories at Spruce Hurricane. Here's a great mm -hmm. little knit hat with the faux fur pom-pom, which looks great back with all of our goodies. <laughs> nice. Nice. And, and also so that's a little capsule collection. And also a accessories. Uh, you recently had uh, had an artist, uh, a yes. jewelry uh, um, designer, and over from, from New Mexico, and uh, Artie yeah. Yellow Horse. That's right. And so uh, what, what was she there for, and, and did she leave any of her uh, craft behind? You or? bet. Uh, we've carried Artie Yellow Horse jewelry for <clears throat> uh, probably over 20 years now. Mm -hmm. uh, her and her family do 
exceptional handcrafted sterling silver, some pieces accented with 14 karat gold, mm -hmm. and really high grade stones from all over the world. Um, and everything she uses for stones is natural. Nothing is enhanced or dyed. A lot of people don't realize mm -hmm. that um, jewelry in general, but particularly in native or Indian jewelry, mm -hmm. a lot of times things have been um, stabilized, color enhanced, mm -hmm. so you're not seeing the stone in its true state, and they're very particular about the work that they do and the pieces that they use. So, nice. beautiful things. Um, Artie comes to visit us. There's a couple examples there. Artie comes to visit us <coughs> twice a year. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we always restock our selection nice. while she's here. But it gives people an opportunity to see even more of what she has and um, to meet the artisan. So, and and since you know we're, we're fall now, and of course the foliage is beautiful mm -hmm. and everything. But then, around here, do, do people sort of use brighter jewelry or brighter clothing? Like in the winter, do we see people sort of doing that to maybe? You know, just get away kinda from the darkness. Kind of counteract the darkness. The darkness yes, kind of thing. I think so. I mean, um, a, a pink, cuddly jacket mm -hmm. and a shiny piece of jewelry, what would make you feel better? Yeah, yeah there you go. <laughs> of, course. of course. I think it's the perfect cure for the winter blues. Nice, nice. You know, and if we're going to be in this kind of cold, harsh, and it, which it can be cold, harsh, mm -hmm. and dark, although it's very beautiful, then then why not make winter fun with your your clothing and accessories and pile on the layers and the yeah. color and. Well, it's nice to see yeah. you know some some um, you know clothing from yeah. Sweden. I mean they because yeah. you know, they they're all about they know it right <laughs> exactly exactly. Right. Well, Amber Dalton, thank you very much for thank stopping you. by this morning. Of course, Spruce Hurricane yep. and all things pink and other colors, <laughs> other colors Many as other well. Colors. Yes, right in the center of North Conway Village, across from Shula Park and we're open every day 10 to 6. Excellent, so uh, get there at 10. <laughs> right, thanks for stopping by, we'll Thank be back. You.